We all know houses are constructed in different patterns and structures according to the architecture's creativity. However, some houses are designed so absurdly that they're considered unusual. We've toured around the world to explore 20 of the most unusual houses and have gathered them for your review. Join us as we explore 20 of the most unusual houses in the world. Number 20. The Eggsbury Egg this unique home would be constructed solely for the purpose of research. It's a floating home in downsizing art and environmentalist awareness. Looking at it briefly, you may think that it's nothing but a pretentious work of art that brings little functionality to the world at large, but Eggsbury did more, and the awards and recognitions it got were there to confirm it. The Eggsbury Egg is a livable home that floats and is built to study the effects of man on nature. With the design initiated by Steph Turner in 2013, the egg's construction began with help from public authorities and also private sponsors. Apart from being an art installation to conduct research, Turner ensured the Exbury egg was equipped to serve as a self-sufficient home for him over the 12 months that he was there. This is why the architect in charge of the project, Wendy Pairing, got direct feedback from Turner. The Exbury's eggshell was made of reclaimed cedar wood and epoxy and although there was no running water or electricity in the egg, Turner still had the essentials to survive. On one side of the egg is a length filled with Turner's tools and workspace, and there he drew his drawings, monitored the cameras that he set up for the perimeter, and made several observations posted on his blog. The kitchen area was simplified at its best, equipped with a paraffin camp stove and a tiny sink, and also a storage area that was created wherever there was space for it. The Eggsbury Egg also featured a charcoal burning stove which was used to heat the place and served as a life-saving feature for Turner during the aggressive winter that followed. The house also featured a small bathroom and toilet with a porthole window on top. It was the only way Turner could decode that the day had began. Since his project was strictly bound to nature, there was no electricity. Throughout the 12 months of his stay, he would wake up at sunrise and then go to sleep by dusk. There was no electricity quite all right, but he did have access to six solar panels in a nearby field, generating electricity that was sent through an underwater cable and was used to power his cameras and laptops. Do you believe you could have coped at the seaside for a year if you were Mr. Turner? Number 19. Airplane Home in Texas Say hello to Joe Axline, the owner of an airplane home in Texas. As a child, he loved the television show The Magician, which was about a protagonist that solves crimes using magic in each episode. Then, at the end of the show, he would drive his car into the back of an airplane and take off. The last thing you saw was the Spirit license plate. Since then, Joe's had the idea of living inside of a plane, just like his favorite television show, and after decades, with a marriage that later resulted in divorce, Axline finally got to live out his dream. Project Freedom, as Axeline calls it, began when he acquired a piece of property in an aviation community in Brookshire, and afterwards he got two wingless halves of a retired plane named Freedom and Spirit. Today, Freedom is Axeline's main living space. The surprisingly roomy, comfortable area that he made out of the plane comprises a master bedroom, two sleeping spaces for his young son and daughter, a bathroom, a living room slash office, and a kitchen. It also includes an outdoor deck that's equipped with a grill and chairs for guests if an event calls for a celebration or he wants to watch the fireworks on July the 4th. Renovations are ongoing in the plane with wood floors, LED lights, and insulation installed to make the living area more lively and conducive for rough Texas summers. Some details from the aircraft's initial purpose also remain, like the airplane cabinets for storage, the original cockpit, overhead bins, original cabinetry, and even a manual that pilots would once use on the plane when they were still there. Axline is also working towards more renovations and fixes on both planes to make it worthwhile for his children and girlfriend. Number 18. The Invisible House Located in California, the Invisible House might as well be listed as one of the wonders of the world, but man-made in this case. From certain angles, the impressive building disappears completely out of sight, blending in with its surroundings, but from others, it acts as a mirror, showing the surrounding cacti, rocks, and evening skies on the landscape. Designed in 2019 by film producer Chris Hanley, in collaboration with architect Frank Geary and collaborator Thomas Osinski, 
The horizontal skyscraper is mostly known as a film location. It's also been featured in music videos for The Weeknd and Ariana Grande's Save Your Tears, where it's portrayed as a cartoon. The Invisible House has a linear, mostly open layout with cinematic views of terracotta colored terrain. High corrugated steel ceiling crown living spaces, which include a clear glass main bedroom and a 30 meter long solar heated pool, are present in the Invisible House. The pool connects to the living areas and its full length doors open wide to the Mojave Desert heat. The three bedroom wonder spans 90 acres, adjoining the protected Joshua Tree National Park. With its tech design, the house is also equipped with heat reflective mirrored glass paneling and is partly built on concrete piles, reducing its contact to the ground. It's currently placed for rent for $150,000 per month, which would not make for a very bad vacation now would it? Number 17. The Flintstone House Remember The Flintstones, an animated cartoon series from the early 1960s about a Stone Age family? I'm sure that you do. A house was actually built in their honor in Hillsborough, California. The Flintstone home was built as an experimental house in 1976 and was originally painted white but later coated to a burnt orange. Beneath the coats of paint are a slew of cement, plaster putty, wire mesh, rebar, and aeronautical balloons. With most of the surface being round, the house looks like a team of inflated balloons. And if that's how you assume the house was constructed, then you would be correct. Steel rebar, wire mesh frames and all were built over large inflated balloons and then coated with high-velocity concrete known as gunite or shotcrete. It's a three-bedroom, two-bath home that features a two-car garage and about 27 square feet of living space. The Flintstone home always leaves new passers-by starstruck, but at the same time, some Hillsboro residents detest the iconic home. At a time in the 1980s, the home began to deteriorate as water runoff on the steep hillside caused it to sink. With the house walls beginning to show deep cracks, the community then got informed and several residents raised a petition to have it removed. That didn't work, but the Flintstone house was renovated, bringing it back to life in 1987. It was then repainted in burnt orange in 2000, which sealed the iconic Flintstone look. It would be purchased for $2.8 million in 2017 by Florence Fang, who added Flintstone figures to the home, and it's presently worth more than $3.6 million. Number 16. Camera House Now, we know people are known to have immense love for certain things, but this one is just amazing. This is a home that was built into the shape of a camera at the occupant's request, Ravi Hongel. Ravi is an Indian man who loves cameras so much and is fascinated by the fact that such a small device can capture memories that last forever. Out of the love for the device, he named his three sons Nikon, Canon, and Epson. He also went ahead to design a house that looks like a camera. The giant camera house is located in India and took two years to build at the cost of roughly seven and a half million Indian rupees. That's about $90,000. Ravi's love for photography began at a young age when he watched his cousin develop photographs, and from there, he would pursue his love and then went forward to have his own photo studio. It was there that he would meet his wife, a woman who is also passionate about photography. The couple loved the concept of photography so much that they named their first child Canon. They got a bit of a backlash for their decisions, however, it did not stop them because they went on to name their other sons, Nikon and Epson, all after camera brands. The home's view during the night is a different beauty with lights adorning it. While the exterior is constructed to look like a camera, the interior has a touch of everything camera related. From the gate to the window grills, everything in the house is touched with a camera symbol. Even the main door has a camera on it as well, and also a Sony pen drive to represent different aspects of being on the job. Even the home ceiling is designed to characterize different facets of a camera. Ravi's wife would talk about the house that her husband was inspired to build and saying that it honored the profession that has given them the means to live the life that both couples aspired to have. She's proud of her husband because regardless of the public's opinion, he's happy to have put his hometown on the map. Number 15. The Mushroom House The state of New York has its share of really absurd homes, but the house that's located in Pittsford may be one that has the most unusual look. Known as the Mushroom House, 
The world-famous home would be designed by James Johnson, who found his inspiration for the unique dwelling in the stem of a Queen Anne's lace. It was built between 1970 and 1972 for Robert and Marguerite Antel, a married couple who sought to build a groovy home that was far out and full of natural materials. The home comprises 80 tons of concrete pods, which are built into the side of a hill. With the curved structures of the walls in the mushroom house, there are no straight surfaces within it. Three pods make up the home, with each pod serving as an essential room in the house. The mushroom house also has other fascinating features, like the time tunnel hallway, where you'll find handmade tiles and tile work all around the house. The home was observed as too distinct and extraordinary, and the town of Parenton awarded the Mushroom House as a historic landmark in 1989. However, the wonders did not cease there. The Mushroom House would go on to receive more installations, which included a laminated mahogany tree that Adam Chesey crafted. The mahogany tree gave the room an exotic and eye-catching touch, but the art created by Wendell Castle is legendary. Known by many as the father of the art furniture movement, Castle left his awesome stamp on the Mushroom House by creating stunning mahogany doors and frames. Hopefully, more additions and installations will be added to the Mushroom House in the future. Number 14. The Boot House This one's a bit weird but also looks beautiful, as though you may be in a fairy tale. The Boot House in New Zealand is one to look at twice because it's one of a kind, the idea of building a boot house struck two lovers, Steve and Judy Van Den Yessel Richards, as they had a fun time over a bottle of wine. From there, the idea transformed it into reality, constructing their paradise. Known as the Size 318, or The Boot, it's located on the northern tip of New Zealand's South Island. Designed for a couple's retreat or a honeymoon, the one-bedroom cottage in picturesque hazelnut groves looks as though it may have appeared directly from the middle of a fairy tale book. Despite looking like an old boot on the outside, the cottage's insides give off classy luxury from a spiral staircase spanning from a lounge and a bathroom at the bottom to a bedroom and balcony at the top. The boot house is the perfect getaway apartment for couples and the lovers who built it. Steve and Judy are happy to have constructed such a wonder. Number 13. Narderhus Everyone has a different idea and way to bring their ideas to life, such as this unusual home, which is recognized as one of the most beautiful innovations ever. Known as Narderhus, or Glass House, this Swedish home is a traditional log home covered in glass. This is done for the Glass House to protect the log house from the harsh Swedish weather. At the same time, the Glass House gives the log house occupants a comfortable Mediterranean climate which makes it suitable to grow vegetables and several plants within the log house gardens. With this benefit, the growing season becomes longer. The glass house was built by Anders Solvarm, an engineer and the father of the family who lives in the glass house. Solvarm would be inspired by a Swedish eco-architect who had built the first glass house in Stockholm in 1974 to 1976. Solvarm would follow the architect's book, Under the Conditions of an Asai, written in collaboration with Marianne Fredrickson. In the book, the architect defines a Narderhus as any building that enriches without destroying, looting, and poisoning. Solvarm built the exact same thing, and with the innovation the family could achieve things better, and even other homes and public spaces followed the glasshouse style after Solvarm had completed his home in the year 2010. Uprina Narderhus in Uprina, Sweden is one such example. Number 12. Upside Down House The Upside Down House is one of the most intriguing structures in Poland. Located in the center of education and regional promotion in the North Poland town of Zimbark, the Upside Down House is a popular tourist destination. The home was designed by a businessman by the name of Daniel Zabuski as a statement about the uncertainty of life in post-communist Poland and was completed in 2007. The tourist trap is like a mysterious home that's full of secrets and anti-communist blends. It's furnished like any other regular home, but it was also a painstaking process to complete its construction. It would take longer to complete, as workers had gotten confused and displaced, therefore forcing them to stop the project for a while. This was because the upside-down house was built on a tilt, and this is why it was disorienting to the workers, as the tilt eliminated the comfort of a reliable and flat surface. 
Tourists who are interested in exploring the home would have gained access to the house by climbing into it through one of the attic windows. Once they get it, they can explore the house by walking on the ceiling. The upside-down house's interior is decorated with furnishings from the 1970s when Poland was still under communist rule. As a matter of fact, there's also an old television installed in the home, which blares vintage propaganda. These decorations solidify the message that's being passed across by the project's designer. Life in communist Poland turned the world upside down. Either way, if you want to find out more about the political message or just want to make yourself uncomfortable by walking around in an upside-down house, this strange attraction has all that you need. But a little heads up though, bring Dramamine along because you may actually need it. Number 11. Japanese Tiny House History has shown that Japan always creates urban developments in little spaces. With most of the country's landmass covered in mountains and forests, cities within the country have become very packed with several little dwellings ranging from hotels to apartments and homes. How the Japanese have constructed these buildings has made them very popular, and it kicked the real estate market into a frenzy. Building off-grid but comfortable tiny homes in areas very far from human civilization is slowly becoming a thing. But such effort seems more complicated when a similar home is built in a crowded urban area. There's usually very little space available, but this tiny Japanese home has achieved it, even with a built-in parking lot. Before it was constructed, the land was assessed, and architects would see that the plot was small and had a complex triangular shape. Still though, it did come out beautiful. The little home was constructed with a bright interior, a flexible loft, and an incredible terrace. Let's not forget about the integrated parking spot as well. Known as the Horanuchi Tiny House, it was designed by architect Kota Mizushi from the Mizushi Architect Firm a decade ago in West Tokyo. The home is very narrow when you view it from the outside, particularly from a bird's eye view, and it's almost hard to believe that a couple and one daughter would even be able to live there without any kind of hassle. However, the shape is only deceitful as the asymmetric design and sharp lines show a surprisingly spacious layout with all the features of a modern home. The Horonuchi Tiny House is also called the Riverside House because it overlooks a river, and Mizushi imagined this space with that river in mind. Built on a triangular plot of land, the two-story home spans 55 square meters. A spectacular thing about the tiny house is that its pattern of the build is different. In this tiny home, the main bedroom is on the ground floor while the kitchen and living area are upstairs. The bedroom is also radiant and basic, with the bathroom big enough to include a bathtub within. Number 10. Pythagorean Home in Greece This home has everything. Located in Athens, Greece, the Pythagorean home was designed to incorporate outdoor beauty and the building for a real Greek couple. The Greek architect in charge would design the Pythagorean home and took wise advantage of the site's spectacular natural surroundings. The plot of land was on the family-owned olive grove with over 300 fruit-bearing trees, so the architect used geometry and created a triangular-shaped home that respected the trees. The design protects from the elements and opens up the residence to the fantastic views of the mountains. The poured concrete home starts out small, with the walls lowering at the triangle's tip, all before stretching upwards gradually as the home moves uphill. The building follows the site's gentle incline and then narrows towards the mountains on the northern side. All south-facing views are directed toward the courtyard rather than the open plains. Slits and openings on the two sides of the triangle give views of the outdoors and ushers light into the space, which then changes during the daytime. The larger area of the home houses the dining and open living spaces, and in this house section the walls are mostly made of glass and can be opened fully for a good view of the olive trees and the mountains. The roof would also be designed in such a way that it doesn't disrupt a great view. It tilts upwards so that the homeowners can have a perfect view of the outdoors. The roof also has drought-tolerant plants such as lavender, aura, chrysanthemum, and thyme, which are all native to the area. There's also access to the water sourced from a nearby well that moves around the home. From the well, the water flows in a concrete channel forming a little moat around the house, all before running into a small pool or lake at one point of the triangle. The home was designed in accordance with nature and local ecosystems where it's built, and the living roof is adapted to Greek climactic conditions and particularly built with Attica in mind. Such a wonder.
Number 9. School Bus Home The cost of fuel increases in America is on the rise, and at the same time, many parents are burdened with taking care of their children. This is why living in an off-grid, energy-efficient home is more enticing than ever, and the Roberts family utilizes that to the maximum. Anna and Michael Roberts dropped their daily work routine and decided to travel around the United States with their five children in a converted school bus where they all live. The couple from Kansas City, Missouri bought a 40-foot school bus for $3,500 in November of 2019 and then transformed it into a mobile home for themselves and their children for just $20,000. A year later, they then set off on an awesome trip, homeschooling their children, and the parents became full-time content creators. With their newly found mission, the family saved anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000 monthly on bills. Although the family misses the comfort of their home, a big kitchen, and a comfortable sofa, they don't regret it. Anna shares their story on the family's Instagram account, saying how their lifestyle has changed with how they view resources. They also explained how they have to be careful and strategic about solar power and the usage of water how many clothes they own, and how much trash they can create. Living in such a mobile home has transformed their lives, and they enjoy every single bit of it. Number 8. Tree UFO Located in Sweden, the tree UFO is built to look like an actual spaceship. If you happen to wander around in the forest and come across it, you'll be sure to have discovered an alien spaceship for yourself. With its look-alike construction and terrifying spotlight that shines down, you would also think that you may be about to get kidnapped. That's how realistic that the UFO treehouse is. On the inside, it can be likened as being in space, as it's arranged in a space-themed style. The room is cast in durable composite materials to give the lightest yet strongest and most sustainable design possible. Built to house five people, the design gives the room a comfortable yet modern feel, however, the feeling of still being in space. With two adults in a double bed and three children with separate beds, a bathroom, and a living area, this 30-meter squared space is all you need for a comfortable escape to childhood dreams. It's all part of the Tree Hotel Resorts, which are located in the Tall Pine Forest in Sweden. All rooms are suspended approximately 4 to 6 meters above the ground, with awesome views of the river, and the UFO treehouse is accessible by electric stairs. Number 7. Cave House a home carved out of a cave, this was one that was built by one man's determination and creativity. That man behind the cave house? Angelo Mastropetro. Like houses in The Hobbit, Angelo took his time to create a home that was from an abandoned cave in the Weir Forest in Worcestershire in England. After being diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, Angelo then returned to his roots for a fresh beginning after quitting his job. He acquired the cave and began its transformation with no other person but himself, his tools, and a $100,000 budget, which would later increase to $230,000. As a patient of MS, the project was not an easy task. However, Angelo did not fret. He set a target of removing 20 barrows of rubble per day, which gave him an achievable goal. While fulfilling his daily task, handling heavy equipment like the generator and tools, it made his legs hurt but even still, he would walk up and down about 30 to 40 times daily because he had to make his goal happen. It took two months to carve out the caves to his desired taste, but after nine months of hard work, it was finally completed. It's a fantastic space which adjoins the living area to the galley kitchen and leads into the shower room. The bathroom was supposed to have had a bathtub, but Angelo had taken his time to hand carve out a tub from the rock, only to be informed that the electric hot water system would not have the capacity to fill it. Lastly, the bedroom has a burning stove, and Angelo's happy to have made that happen, as he now holds festivals and parties and calls it the Rock House Retreat for people to celebrate. Number 6. The Dumpster House Now, we've seen UFO homes, cave homes, and boot homes, which are all fascinating, but a dumpster home? Well, that's a different story. Behind this woman's residence halls, in a back corner of Houston Tulitson University's campus in Austin, Texas, sits one green dumpster that's owned by the dean of the university college, Jeff Wilson. And if it were not for the weather station that was perched on top and sliding pitched roof on it, it would have been dismissed as just another dumpster. The professor did not just willingly go to live deliberately in the dumpster, 
not just because he wished to live in it on purpose and not to educate his students about the environmental impacts of day-to-day -day life, and not to just to gradually transform the dumpster into the most thoughtfully designed, smallest home ever built. Wilson's reasons are actually a tapestry of all of these things. Despite its small size, it's well-equipped. The dumpster comprises of a bed, a storage space, a shower, a washing machine, and even a toilet bowl. Number 5. Small House That Fits Into a Van Sometimes people don't necessarily care about having a huge apartment for themselves, but a small place isn't bad as long as they're comfortable. One such person is Glenn, the owner of the smallest house in the world. Glenn only cares about his comfort and freedom and not luxury. His tiny house can be transported anywhere within a couple of hours and can even be placed inside of his van. Glenn's tiny home is slightly two and a half square meters, and even with its small size, the tiny house is well equipped. It features a sink, a gas stove, and a solid waste system. The tiny home also has a wind turbine and a gray water system that waters his flower boxes, where he grows arugula. All of these amenities are at his fingertips, all at 25 square feet in his tiny home. Number 4. Water Tower Home Located in California, the water tower is delightful for visitors, 100 feet above the shore. This 87-foot-tall water tower has a great view of the Pacific Coast Highway for passers-by, and it's a local landmark that dates as far back as the 1890s when it supplied water to the steam train engines that were traveling along the California coast. Nine decades later, and it was then transformed into a house. Standing tall above the houses that are lined up along the sand near Seal Beach and Sunset Beach borders, the water tower residence has become beloved by locals ever since it was constructed. However, it does have some history in and of itself. In the 1970s, graffiti was the trend, and with the water tower covered in graffiti, people began petitioning to take it down. Termites had also destroyed much of the framework of the redwoods, so it seemed just perfect to take it down. It was then that George Armstrong, a Long Beach City College math professor, would step in. In response to a community-wide Save Our Water Tower movement, he would purchase the property and then remodel it into a home in the 1980s, saving it from destruction. It's been sold to a few others more times in the decades, but was recently sold to an investor by the name of Scott Oostland and his friend Barrett Woods for $1.5 million in 2016. The pair would quickly transform the home to its former glory, opening it up for public tours and renting it out for around $1,000 per night on Airbnb. Number 3. Concrete Pipe Home This concrete pipe, made in Japan, is basic but classy. It shows that you can transform even the most minimalist of things into the best thorough creations. Inspired by the projects of modular homes from Japan, the outcome is beautiful and it shows, as one of the apartments is even available for rent on Airbnb. Another beautiful feature of this home is that it can be transported from one place to another in order to enjoy a new view without any hassle or damages. Number 2. Floating Villa in Dubai The city of Dubai is known for several new advancements, but this floating villa takes the cake. The floating villa is like a regular apartment or home, just floating on the water or immersed. The floating house can be several things, from a nature-immersed home that's cheaper and a better alternative to a brick-and-mortar house to a villa that is the epitome of high-end opulence but still sustainable living. In this floating villa, the one percenters of the world don't have to worry about being left out on the ride or, even worse, trying to keep up with the normies. Everyone gets their floating house and that's the most intriguing thing ever. It's called the Floating Seahorse and is part of the Heart of Europe project in the world's artificial archipelago off of Dubai's coast. It's a development by Kleindienst Group, which comprises of 131 such villas and is a truly unique underwater product, which is the first of its kind in the world, an exclusive marine-style retreat. Essentially, it's a boat without propulsion, which has its plot in the Arabian Gulf. The concept would be unveiled at 2015's edition of the Dubai Boat Show, with construction beginning in late 2016. They're getting completed, and once finished, these villas are seen as an investment opportunity and will only attract tourists when the nearby constructions are finished. Number 1. Quetzalcoatl's Nest Snake House 
Inspired by an Aztec serpent god, Quetzalcoatl's nest is a breathtaking sculpture garden that was built by an acclaimed Mexican architect by the name of Javier Sinosan. Intending to make an organic space that would respect the rugged natural environment that exists just north of Mexico City, the architect built a complete serpent-like structure that maximizes the natural caves and curves that surround it. The outcome of this magnificent sculpture was 165,000 square feet, complete with long botanical gardens, dazzling lakes, and a fairy tale like mineral caves. You can bring along seven friends to stay in the serpent's belly, tunnels are smartly connecting each room, and natural light beams in through as no doors are apart from the main entrance. There are also facilities and appliances like a laundry room, a friendly living space, and a well-equipped kitchen with all of the necessities that includes fruit, coffee, and bread that's provided. Beautiful views also come along with the package, and with this view, it would be hard to imagine a location that's more able to inspire relaxation, creativity, and pure wonder. What house caught your attention in this list? Be sure to let us know all about it in the comments down below.